right? Uh, in part one, we calculated ZT to be 323.84 at an angle of 11.2 ohm. Now, in part two, we want to calculate the supply voltage given that the incoming current is 0 0.2 amps at an angle of zero. Okay? Now, using Ohm's law, We have E equals to I times ZT. That is equals to 0 0.2 amps at an angle of 0 multiplied by 323.84 at an angle of 11.2 degrees ohms. That gives me um, point, gives me 64 I'm sorry here it should be times 10 to the 11 okay sorry I'm sorry uh, that will give me 64 point 64 to 76 at the angle of 11.2 degrees foot. All right, and finally, we want to find the power factor. Now, power factor, it will be very useful to draw a phasor diagram. In this case, the phasor diagram, we have E at an angle of 11.2 degrees. So E will be something like this, 11.2. E, whereas the current is at angle zero, so current is here. So current is here. So the phase difference is actually um, eleven point two degrees minus zero degree. That's eleven point two degrees. So therefore, the power factor. Power factor. Is given as the cosine of this difference in angle, which is cosine one one two degrees, and that gives me uh, zero point nine. Now, is this the power factor lagging or leading? We need to look at this phase diagram, right? We are looking at the angle of current. So, since the voltage is ahead of current, we say this is lag here. The power factor is lacking. Alright, here you are. That's the answer for this question. I hope you have learned something today. Bye.